by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal boost. What's good, players and pimps, hoes and simps and ladies? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zay, aka the baddest motherfucker walking, aka the Shogun, and welcome to my dojo. Make sure you double edge them swords so we can slice this video up. They don't necessarily end up with the most beautiful women, and I think it's two reasons. Firstly, where the normal man would have to go pursue women, handsome men get into this zone of life where women come to them, which is a very trippy kind of way of experiencing it. But women come to them, so they are used to the it being that way around. So when a woman's not approaching them, they assume she's not interested. They don't realize a natural pursuit is he should be chasing or he should be initiating. Handsome men, because they don't require as much female validation because they get it so much, they look more for a woman that treats them well rather than just a woman that looks fantastic. They focus on the treatment that they receive from a woman far more than they would by the status symbol of her being super attractive because they've already got that status symbol. Now this is a rare L for her, man. You know, and I, I've did a lot of videos on her specifically because she had a lot of she gives a lot of great game for a woman like out of all the women that i've seen when it came to her she has given good game but this is actually a rare disagreement this disagreeance that's even a word for me because there's a lot of things that i disagree with what she's saying like it's some shit in there that i'm like yo okay she, she she's right but this is a lot of things that she said so one thing that she did say was handsome men don't need validation from women when in actuality in my experience handsome men are usually the most insecure of them all why do you think right now fellas and there's even a sector on youtube where all the fuck they talk about is handsome man game and handsome man game that's all the fuck they talk about just if you handsome man you you this and that because a lot of the times, those guys have problems just like how the average guy has problems, just like how everybody else has problems. And why do average men, handsome men, men in general, have problems? Because rejection, right, every man experiences it. Duh! But while every man experiences rejection, certain men don't let it bother them while a majority an abundance amount of men let let it bother them so when you have when you're a handsome guy right and you got women telling you that you're handsome you got women coming up to you talking to you and shit like that and you actually get used to that you actually get used to leading with your looks like a female what tends to happen is that you don't develop the social skills needed you don't develop the game the mouthpiece the strategies needed to get the women that you actually want because you're only dealing with women that just want you <laughs> so when you actually see a woman a lot of time when these handsome guys see a woman that they want they don't know how to go about it and they're so just used to staying in their normal waiting for choosing signals or waiting for a woman to come through initiate the shit that they just they just basically at the whims of whomever likes them and this is where a lot of times a lot of you hear these dudes but man the girls that really like me are only the ugly girls because those guys who say that are guys who have no fucking game are guys who actually put those other women on a pedestal see the reason why i say they're insecure is because they need the validation from these women to be able to do the things and get women they need that shit if a woman ain't approaching them or looking at them or something like that and validating their ego and they go and talk to her and they get rejected, it kind of shatters their whole ego that they put their identity in and being attractive. That's why their egos are fucking fragile as fuck. That's why you see these looks maxers and all these other fucking guys, these black pillars, because they have fragile fucking egos. That's the actual truth. When in reality, all men get rejected. I really believe that a lot of them black pillars, a lot of those other, all them fucking pillars, the one thing that they all have in common is that they have fragile egos and they believe that they can do something that can drastically decline their rate of rejection. They think that. And they almost, I even believe that they think that they can do something where they just won't get rejected. All of, if you think, if you see all of the shit that they teach, it's all based around how to get, how to not get rejected. Now, of course, we don't want to get rejected. 
But if you really deep in the game and you understand fucking game, you understand that there's almost really no such thing as rejection unless you accept the fucking rejection. <laughs> I hope the lights is going off in you motherfuckers' heads. And this is coming from a dude who women used to just come. I, I, I always tell guys this shit. I remember I said this one video. I was telling God, I'm like, yo, women used to, women be telling me I, I look good. And then I'll be like, yo, let's do it. And they're like, oh, I'm good. So one bitch ass dude in my comment section, he going to say, oh, they just only telling you that you look good just to not hurt your feelings. You goofy ass nigga. I'm telling you that they told me that I look good without me actually go these are women that just went out of their way to compliment me on how handsome my looks was or how whatever the fuck i look these are women that actually went out of their way telling me this shit lots of them but then when i try to initiate the bitches wasn't going so how the fuck is they trying to appease to me or make me feel better when these bitches are the one that's initiating the saying that i look good fucking idiot but it just goes to show there's no such you can't you can't escape rejection dog until you accept that you can't accept uh, escape rejection until you accept that it's a numbers game that's why i know a lot of you motherfuckers game is weak you can't escape reje rejection and it's a numbers game meaning that you have to you have to get rejected and go through rejection to find the bitches who actually want you there's no other way you can't escape this shit can you, can you, can you, uh, reduce the rejections? Maybe. Of course you, you can, doing certain little things. But who likes you, likes you. And the women that already like you are already out here in the world. And the only way to get them is you have to go and approach women to go through them. Because they're not going to approach you. That's the reality of the game. They're not going to approach you for real, for real. The women that you don't like going to fucking approach you. That, that, that's who approach you a lot of times. Barely the women that you really like. Or some women that you like, eh, you, you on the fence about, you like, well, shit, I ain't get approached in a long time, so, you know, I'm going to just do this shit. It's this one dude that live in my city, right? Fo he was a football player. He got a lot of status. You get what I'm saying? He, he a well-put-together guy. And he remember he was hanging around me and my homies. And me and my homies is a fucking dog. When we go out, we talking to hoes. We telling them what we want to do to them. We doing all, we, like, dogs. I mean, like. We, we got the utmost confidence. Like, it ain't no it ain't no rejection without, like, we don't give a fuck. And he, I remember he was like, yo, how do y'all do that, man? Like, I, I, I can't do that shit. This is a guy who was football star status all in the town. Every, a lot of people know him. You know what I'm saying? A handsome guy. And he was like, yo, how do y'all do that? He said, y'all can't go up to a girl and, and just start, start talking to her. Like, I gotta wait for her to come to me or, you know what I'm saying? I gotta wait for them to inbox me and, and, and all this other shit. Basically saying that if there's no such thing as social media, it was no, if there was no such thing as that shit, this guy wouldn't really be getting no fucking ass because he relies on social media to get some ass a lot of the times. And he has to wait on women to come up to him and to know him. Like he could never go out of town and talk to women. He'd go out of town and be a fucking creep, a loser. He will realize that he's not as big as he think he is. He will realize that he's just a big fish in a small pond. It will crush his identity that he put his ego and identity in. And that's why a lot of these bitch ass dudes who go off their looks can't do it because they have such an ego and identity in their looks that when they get rejected, they believe in their mind that, oh, this bitch think I'm ugly. And it hurts them so fucking bad that they just like, you know, no, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait to the truth of signals. I'm going to wait for a girl to come to me. <laughs> Got over that. You be fucking dog. And we got to talk about the other thing. Intimidation. A lot of the times. The reason why these guys have to deal with average looking women is because a lot of the times these girls who actually look good are intimidated by the fact that you look good too. And they're so used to guys that simps and would do anything for them. And it's an opposite halo effect. And they think that you're going to be arrogant, piece of shit. Because they, they probably, a lot of the time these girls have probably dealt with a, a good looking guy and, she, and he killed her fucking ego. So you should get there. You should like, oh no, nah, I'm not getting near this nigga again. No, nah, he ain't about to fuck my ego up again. Like hell no, nah, I can't, I can't afford that. People are motivated by least the least resistance. Even them handsome men ass dudes, they are motivated by the least resistance that they could possibly. That's just people. We just do that naturally. We we want to go in the area where it's least resistance. So just the same way how when you see that bad bitch and you automatically think, 
oh, she must be arrogant, cocky. She must, I must have to buy her, do all of this shit. It's the same shit with attractive guys, which is why a lot of the times you don't, when you see people that's attractive, you see an attractive woman with an average guy, and then you see an attractive guy with an average woman. Because an attractive, the, the two attractives, you don't really see that a lot of the times unless it's the celebrities. I don't really see that a lot. I mean, I see that here and there on the street, but I see more of average with attractive and average with attractive than I see attractive with attractive. It's, it's actually just, it's crazy. Because most of the time, the attractive with attractive, somebody's always intimidated by the other, other person. All the time. And these attractive men don't want fucking average women. They want attractive women. But they're just at the, the, the mercy of the fact that they have fragile egos. And they're at the mercy at the fact that a lot of women are intimidated by how they look. And they don't want to go out there and keep getting rejected because of that. So they have to settle for women that they don't really see as attractive like that. It's not that they don't need, oh, they're not looking for validation and they need a girl to do that. Nah, nah, nah. A lot of the guys that I used to coach and shit like that, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say they, they weren't bad looking dudes. They weren't, if you ask me, they they just, they weren't bad looking dudes. But they just had, they had insecurity problems a lot of the time. All of them had in, insecure as fuck. Insecure as fuck. And see, we're not even going to talk about the fact that all women act the same. Because even average women sometimes can look at uh, attractive guys and just be intimidated and not want to fuck with them. See, what these handsome men don't understand a lot of the times is that all women act the same, truthfully. The average women, the below average women, and the, the, the hot women, they all act and think the same. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I've seen the average girls and the low attractive, uh, the, the below average women act like they were dying. And I've seen the dimes act like they were average or unattractive. So with that being said, is that if you understand that, if you have experience with that, there's no reason to be with average women if you're an attractive guy. If you understand that it's a numbers game, if you understand that rejection is part of the game, you understand that all women act the fucking same you understand just those three aspects you don't have to settle for an average woman but when you don't understand that and you're ignorant and you're hurt and you let emotion dictate what the fuck you do in life then yes if you're a handsome guy you're gonna have to settle for average to below average women not because you don't care about what the fuck she said what she say oh they don't care about if a woman is uh validating them they care about us no 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 that's not true well, at least in my, in my experience with the guys that I've coached and even me back in the day thinking about the shit that I used to do. And like I said, I used to have girls tell me I was good looking, bro. And like I said, but I still had to have game. That was one thing that I, I used to find out because I used to have a lot of these attractive dudes will tell, won't tell you. And they had these girls coming up to them, talking to them. And the next thing you know, that girl ghosts them. They never tell you that shit. They never tell you that part. These black pill bitch ass niggas, when they get that that uh that surgery and shit, they gonna find out the hard way. They gonna find out. But uh, fellas, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't be uh, handsome or try to strive to be handsome or whatever. You do whatever the fuck you wanna do. But uh, this this video went a little bit too long, fellas. I hope you guys um took great wisdom from this game. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance. Until next time, I'm out. Deuces. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal booth. Spit.